Let's make a spider. Ooh, right. Well, spiders are not insects. Uh, and most spiders are not dangerous to humans. You're not dangerous at all. Oh, isn't that nice? Um, the most spiders live on land, but like a few, like the raft spider, live in and on the water. Well, let me show you how to make a spider. You're going to need one art rod, it could be any color you'd like, and three more short rods for the legs, and three twisties. Now, in order to do the head of the spider, the body of the spider, we're going to go around and we're going to make a circle and we're going to snap these two pieces together. Well, look at that into a kind of a circle shape. And then with that circle shape, I'm going to take my fingers at the top, right where I twisted, snapped them together, and I'm going to wrap them around my fingers, and I'm going to bend them up to make the head. So I'm pitching them like that to make the head of the spider, and there's the body of the spider, right. And the next part is to make the legs of the spider. Now for the legs, we're going to make them into almost like an M shape. So I'm going to put the legs halfway under the spider so that each leg will be the same. And I'm going to push up and up like that. And then I'm going to use my twisty to wrap around the two legs. And I'm going to put them in an X shape like that. And I'm going to twist that X shape till it's nice and tight. I can keep twisting as much as I want until they're nice and tight. And then I can cut off the extra part or I can just tuck it underneath. Now, with the, now that the legs are in, I'm going to go down and make a little line going that way. And same with over here. I'm going to go down and make a little curve going that way. So we've got a curve on this side and a curve on this side. And we're going to make some more legs too. So we'll make some legs over here and over here. And we'll do it the same. A similar way. So we'll take an art rod, a small rod, and toward the back of, of it, we're going to wrap it around with a twisty. So take a twisty about halfway so each leg is the same length, make an X, and twist it around. And get it again nice and tight. Cut off any extra part. And now we're going to twist up and down and up and down. So it's kind of like an M shape right there. And if, if I want to make them closer together, I can squish it in a little bit. And we'll do the same thing to this side now. So take your art rod and put it about halfway and get a twisty and wrap it around make an X shape, an X shape, twist and start twisting. Okay, once you have that, do the same thing. We're gonna go up and up and down and down. And we can squish them together. And now actually we'll actually stand up. So the next part would be to decorate your spider. So I'll show you how I decorated my spider. I just used some stickers and I got these crazy st sticker eyes, but I thought it'd be cute to put a little Valentine heart mouth on there. But again, that's my idea. You can decorate any way you want. Um, but the, an idea is to look at other pictures of spiders to give you more ideas of what you can use to decorate. So I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to get some pictures of some some spiders 
and take a look. Now I'm looking at the legs and I'm seeing their little furs or little pointy things sticking out. So I might color that in with markers. Um, and I'm also noticing, let's see what else we have. Well, maybe little pinchers at the front of the spider. You can see it right there. I might draw that in too. But to finish up with, you have to decide what you're going to do with your spider now. Um, well, you could give it as a present to somebody, maybe a family member, put it on your shelf uh, in, with your other art ride animals, do a little play or story where they talk to each other, or maybe use it to decorate something for Halloween. Well, have fun with it. And that's all. Bye. Bye.